Popcorn Brain is a modern psychological adaptation where the mind becomes trained to expect constant, fast-paced stimulation. It develops when we consume information in rapid bursts, scrolling, swiping, switching apps, watching short videos, moving from one novelty to another. Over time, the nervous system begins to treat speed, intensity, and instant gratification as normal. Neurologically, this continuous stimulation triggers frequent micro-dopamine releases. Dopamine is not only a reward chemical, it drives the brain to seek what is new. When digital activity becomes the main source of novelty, the brain starts preferring quick, ever-changing input over slower, deeper experiences. It becomes uneasy with silence, impatient in slow conversations, and easily bored when nothing immediate happens. This shift doesn't reflect weakness. It's simply the brain adapting to an overloaded environment. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for focus, planning, and emotional regulation, becomes strained by constant notifications and rapid micro-decisions. This leads to scattered attention, trouble completing tasks, irritability, and a persistent sense of mental noise, even during rest. Psychiatrically, many people report the same pattern, feeling wired but tired, wanting to relax but unable to mentally slow down. Some feel a brief, low mood when they stop using their phone, not due to addiction alone, but because the brain is adjusting from high dopamine input back to its natural baseline. What makes Popcorn Brain unique is that it isn't caused by trauma or illness. It's shaped by repetition. And because it's learned, it can be unlearned. Short moments of intentional slowness, walking without headphones, taking small digital breaks, single tasking, begin rewiring the brain towards stability. Activities like deep breathing, reading longer text, or spending a few minutes Observing nature help restore sensory balance and strengthen attention circuits. Popcorn brain is not a disorder. It's simply a sign that the mind is running faster than life. Restoring balance doesn't require abandoning technology. It requires giving the brain enough quiet, steady moments to return to its natural rhythm. Calm, focused and fully present.